NBA season is here. And for opening night, we got something special. History tonight. The first father-son duo to play together in an NBA game. Lakers versus Wolves. And this would be the first time a father-son duo stepped on an NBA court together. It just but happen that before often. we got to that moment, Rui Hachimura took the spotlight for the Lakers, draining a three and getting the first poster of the season. Lakers, Hachimura, bodied up. Oh! You know Ant had to answer back with something. Bottom, a three. However, with Braun playing in his 22nd year, he soon showed he is timeless. McDaniels gliding to the rim. Oh, oh. McDaniels couldn't catch it. Off the knockaway, Reeves. Cutter, James. Oh! Major step for LeBron. LeBron officially joined Vince Carter as the only players in NBA history to play in 22 seasons. And he did it in style. Anthony Edwards tried to keep the Timberwolves in the game, but they had a problem. With Cat shipped to New York, they had trouble rebounding the ball. And it showed. Lakers were dominating the rebounds, and even offensively, the Wolves were lacking. Well, you, you got two teams that... Point. The curl by Reeves, and popped up in the air. And... Luckily, offensively, they were still keeping up, and even ended the first quarter with a one-point lead, and Ant-Man leading the way. Steal. Edwards, pedal to the metal, all the way to the rim, hangs and hits. But Ant couldn't play the whole time, and with him taking a rest, the Lakers knew better. It makes it a little bit tougher to keep the Lakers off the board. Bullet feed, Russell to Hayes. Second quarter was a back and forth battle, and Julius Randle took that literally. Out front, Randle just hit on a three, drives in, contact with James, offensive foul. Looking like he was giving Braun a little body check, he came out fine though, but on the next one, Braun had to take a breather. Collision with James and McDaniels. Both appear to be okay. LeBron just grabbing at his right arm. Even with him taking a seat, the Lakers were still balling. With Austin Reeves and Hachimura taking the reins. Reeves gets bumped and the foul. Short. Offensive board, another one, spin off and finish. That was slick. From Hachimura. However, with Ant returning to the game, he brought his one-man show back in action. Since the end of the first, Edwards with a purpose. Baker goes and one. This moment was soon outshined. Two minutes left in the second quarter. And just like that injury earlier was scripted, history was about to be made. Bronny and LeBron checked in at the same time. Not ready? No. You see the intensity, right? You just play carefree, though. Don't worry about mistakes, just go out and play hard. History tonight. The first father-son duo to play together in an NBA game. History made. The first father and son to play in the NBA at the same time, let alone on the same team. First possession, Bronny got thrown into the Lions. Guarding Randall, an obvious mismatch, but he made a solid effort. On the other end, my heart dropped for a second because I thought a putback dunk was incoming. But Rudy Gobert was sharp to stop Bronny. Man, it was wholesome seeing Bron coach Bronny. However, it wasn't looking that smooth to begin with. Maybe it was confidence, or maybe it was just him getting used to the whole experience. James! And here he even gave him a chance for a three, trying to gain some momentum. Bronny! Knock down. Shot. But Braun had to show Junior how to do it. Out of the timeout. Oh, LeBron James! Major flush! The last thing we got from Brawny in this game is this little one-on-one -on -one against Ant, where surprisingly, Brawny had him locked down. He played a total of three minutes, and although he couldn't show much, he showed enough to where you can see that he can keep up in this league. The rest of the game, it was a battle between AE and AD. The roller, Gobert, rejected! Anthony Davis! And Anthony Davis wasn't messing around in this game. He was phenomenal down the stretch, either scoring or assisting on 13 of LA's last 15 points. He finished the game with a dominant 36 points and 16 rebounds, clearly looking to chase that MVP this season. On the other side, it was Anthony Edwards in the spotlight, scoring 27 points for the Timberwolves. They've been struggling to get the ball in the basket. Don't just give them two points here. It seems like uh, A.E. and 
JJ are having a little discussion. Who are coming off their best season in 20 years. But with LeBron sealing the deal, the Lakers took home the victory, giving coach JJ a win in his very first game. What will you remember most about tonight? Just going up to that score table with my dad, checking in for the first time. That's a, that's a crazy moment I will never forget. Um, I was given an amazing opportunity to come in this league and, and get better every day and learn every day. Um, so yeah, I'm, just, I'm just extremely grateful. Uh, it's family. It's always been family over everything. And, uh, you know, for me, I, I lost a lot of time because of this league and committing to this league, being on the road at times, missing a lot of his things, Bryce's things, Zuri's things. So to be able to have this moment where I'm working still and I can work alongside my son, it's uh, one of the greatest gifts I've ever got from the man above, and I'm going to take full advantage of it. To this court as an NBA player. Man, this is not uh, this is not promised every day. You know, that you get an opportunity to play in this beautiful league. It's only 450 of us. And uh, understand it's not uh, it's not given to you. you got to earn every moment. And uh, I think he, he knows that, um, and uh, he's looking forward to the – to the progress, to the process of getting better and better every single day to be the player that he ultimately wants to be. So, um, but I'm super proud of him and uh, he's my lifeline, that's for sure.